What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Quick Water Fishing. It has been a while. Um, I have been really busy working on stuff and school, so I haven't really got around to it. I would have liked to post one like every week, but I'm really sorry I couldn't. Um, but we finally get to. Um, I come. We've come out here to the pond, and it is early in the morning. And uh, it is clear. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that's clear right there. It's just dark. I mean, I woke up like 10 minutes ago. So we got us the popper turned on that was faithful to me last time. Um, and I know if it worked in that pond or in the lake, it better work in here because this pond is packed with bass. Big ones, too. The biggest one I ever caught coming out of here was like caught a big one which is over it was like 5.6 pounds and uh, the one I caught out here was way bigger than that I never got to play it but anyway let's get to it first cast So I just had a bite. That was the second bite I've got right here, and I think it was from the same bass. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm getting it. Two casts in a row, he bit it. All right, so except for those two bites I got from that bass, nothing else bit this. So I am going to switch. I got all kinds of stuff here. I can switch to a little Yozuri, like trout lure. I got some bass jigs. I've got some of these Kitek things, which are amazing. Um, I mean, we could put on pretty much anything. I'm kind of wanting to go with either Kitek or um, this little, I found this thing. It's like a tiny little shad crankbait. It's like really fat and stubby. Um, kind of want to try it out because the bluegill would go after it too. We could use that. I mean, we could use really anything in here, but you know, I think I'm going with the Kitek. Um, so, we're gonna do. All right, here we go. First cast with the swing impact 2.5. Nothing, but that is to be expected for your first cast, usually. Time. And I would love to go over there. That's where I would like to go with that popper, but look at all the leaves. Hey, I got one. Let's go. On camera. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Son. Second cast with this guy. And he just swallowed it. Here. There we go. That's the Look at that. That's first bass of the morning. A little tiny largemouth. Now there is only a largemouth in here. So when I say a little largemouth, don't be like, oh, so there's other bass. So, yep. First one of the day. Gorgeous little fella. I thought he was a bluegill at first because the bluegill hang out in here because it's a little shallower and make fish beds and stuff. But, wonderful. No. No. I had him. I don't know what it was, but I had him. 
think it was just a small bass. He slipped the hook, spit the hook. Got him. Oh, this is a big bass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Let's go. All of these fish hasn't been, I haven't walked from, I haven't walked 20 feet up the bank and I've already caught all these on this Kitek lure. So. That is why you should go get yourself some. Um, he's hooked pretty good. Look at that. There's a... That, I don't know. He ain't huge. I kind of got excited and said it's a big one. He's probably, probably about a pound. Um, I'm going to have to figure out the way... Oh, I got it. That is in there good. I thought that other one was in there good. I have pliers, but they're kind of rusty and hard to open, so. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Big, large mouth. So what have we done? We've caught one, we've caught two large mouths and one big bluegill. Already with the Kitek. So, these fish are biting really slow. They're like, they just kind of go up to it and just kind of, I don't know. But it's really slow because it's not like the summer bite. The summer bite, all of a sudden you feel a big jerk. But this, it's just like, all of a sudden you kind of see your line start moving to the side. But, I don't know. It's probably because it's so cold. It's pretty cold out here. Got another one right here. Oh, this one is a big bluegill. Ha! Look at that. Look at this. This guy is huge. Look at that little pancake. Well, big pancake. That was my fourth cast. So, right after I just caught that bass. That little sucker. That's a big bluegill. That's, that's probably close to my personal best. My personal best is bigger than that, but that's a wonderful size bluegill right there. Got him. And it looks like another humongous bluegill. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, I knew something was over there fiddling with it. Oh, man, look at your gorgeous red eyes. Sun. Now oh, that is a pretty fish right there. It's got some blue right there and some like pinkish, pinkish, and this orange belly, and red. Look at those deep red eyes. It almost looks like a rock bass. And that was a good catch. Just a few casts later. Still haven't moved 20 feet down the bank. Still standing right here. And I've had a bunch of bites. No. Come here, I don't want to lose you. Hooked up on a big stick. Oh, um, a little bit closer. There we go. I want to get this out of the pond, too. I don't want to get hung up on it in the future. I thought I had a bite. In the Jerked real hard and it wasn't a fish. I got him. That was almost instant. I mean, it hit the water and he did it. And it is another blue deal. I didn't even hook him in the mouth. I hooked him outside, like on the nose. What? It looks like it looks like it's in his mouth, but it, I promise you, that is not in his mouth. Not. Where's the big bass at? I know there's like probably eight pounders in here. 
And I know they'll bite this. They're probably way out there or way over there on one of those coves where all the leaves are. But I would love to go over there and fish with those in those coves. But I could not. Like this would get so tangled up in the leaves every cast. And especially not with that popper. So but it's fine. We're doing great over here. Oh, I promise you that was a bite. I prom look. Now you gotta believe me now, cause look, pulled my thing back and it bit my tail off. So now I gotta switch baits. This is my third little lure yeah, I've put on today. That's why I'm saying uh, there. Um, the bass tear them up like crazy, I guess. Short. We have a spider down in there for an ant. But, um, they're just like, it's like they got that salt stuff in them, like down in the plastic, and that's what makes, that, I feel like that's what makes it so, um, like, just, it tears up easy. But it makes it soft so it swims perfect. Look at that action. I don't know if you can tell, but it is amazing. But this is where I got the bite from that bass twice on the um, hopper. And this is a great spot because it's kind of back here. That's where the water runs. Oh, got him. See what I mean? Just like that. Water runs down. There's some structure over there deep right in here look at that not the biggest one of the day but a good size I honestly thought I was hooked on that log because I cast it right by and I was like oh no he might have come out from under that log look at that little dude so that's probably I don't know he he's probably three-fourths the size of the one we caught over there that was probably the biggest but still fun to catch so I'm telling you right here son this place I know it has one that's probably at least eight pounds I mean I have a picture I can try to get it and show y'all oh there's a bite Got it. oh my goodness it's a bluegill it is a huge bluegill Yeah, I'll try to show you. I'll try to find the picture of uh, my huge bass that I caught. Um, I'm telling you, that sucker was a monster. Look at this. He's like all deformed. He's like super thin up here at the top. And like really thick down there at the bottom. What's wrong with you, dude? He's a, he looks like a... I don't know what he looks like, but he's weird and his fin's all messed up. That didn't stop him from eating the Kai Tech. I'm telling you, this is the best lure of all time. That and the 116th ounce Z Man Chatterbait. Those things are the bomb, too. Let's see if we can get another one but it's the same little clip oh there he is got him yeah let's go bass i'm telling you that is the it's the slowest hit i've ever felt from a bass did they just go up to it and it's like they just come from the side and just they just grab a hold of it and keep on swimming like other ones like in the summertime They'll run up to it and they'll hit it and they'll go right backwards. Like, not like, not like backwards like that, but they'll go up to it and they'll bite it and they'll just turn around and go right back down. But these, it's just like they bite it and they just kind of keep on barely swimming. Then when you hook them, it's like, oh no. 
wonderful. That was, what was that? Was that three for three? I think that was three for three cast. I'm not sure, but I think it was. Well, that's crazy. Let's see if we can get four for four right here. Four for four, let's do it. Nope. Well, I'll keep on fishing. Look at this. I just got a bite from a bluegill. And he ate the, like, he ate, oh, well, I don't know if it was a bluegill, but he ate half the thing. Like, <sighs> Got him. Little bass. Now I did move over here because um, I wasn't getting much over there and I actually can fish over here. It definitely ain't as good because I have to maneuver my line through all the leaves, but it's working. Yeah, so I'm over here in this cove. The farther back in the cove you go, the thicker the leaves get, but I think it's fine. I mean, Worst could happen, it's gonna get on your lure and you're gonna have to pull them off. Another beautiful little largemouth. I had a bunch of bites, but I think most of them have just been bluegill. It's like you're pulling it in and they kind of come up behind it and peck it and uh, then kind of run off. But that bass, see, it's like the bass, they just, it's just like all of a sudden you feel it tighten up and it's like trying to pull a little log. But the bluegill's like tap, tap, tap. I don't think the bluegill slowed down any, it's the bass. They are kind of getting more sluggish. You got him. Oh yeah. And it is a big old bluegill. Wouldn't you know it. And I think I am on Probably number six of these Kytec things. I just had to put on a new one because uh, one ate the tail off of it again. That's probably the biggest bluegill of the day right there. He's a fatty goat. Thanks for letting us catch you, buddy. Grow bigger, please. Love to come back and catch a monstrous, monstrous with you. I hooked a bass uh, right after I caught that bluegill, and of course I didn't have the camera turned on either. Look at that. He's a green. Like, he's really green. Usually I'd have these Kytec lures on a. Uh, What in the world? Sounds like a, I don't know what that sounds like. Um, but usually I'd have those Kytec lures on a jig head, but I didn't have one. Please be quiet. It's a hawk. I, was, I couldn't think of what that was for a second. There's two of them, there's one over there too. Probably after my squirrel. There's been a bunch of squirrels out this morning. Literally, I just put this on. The next cast after I caught that bass. The bluegill eats the tail off of it. Literally, the very end, the part that makes it wiggle. <laughs> I fished everything. I fished over there in that uh, cove over there. It's, uh, I fished everything except this bank right here, over here. Um, 
So we definitely covered a lot of water. Uh, we caught plenty of fish. I don't know how many it was. It was probably like probably like six or seven bass and probably like four or five bluegill. So it was good. Um, little Kai Tech does the tricks. So, I mean, this is a wooger. That, that thing the way to go. Um, so yeah, go get yourself some Kai Tech. I uh, ended up I used, I think I had like a full pack of these and I have three left. Um, so that shows you the bluegill really like the tails. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but they do bite them off like crazy. It happens like uh, probably like every 20 casts or something. I mean, they, they go for them. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.